Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. You heard, Pat. You need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. Who's that? I had no Is he choice. With us? Uh, was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire oh, homestead. They're coming from the rear. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand and make him come. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their 
heads Let's cut off. Let's send these bitches running. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, Donna. But where was I? Oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps and sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back, back door! door. We got we'll cover you! Drop aim at you! Watch your play! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Oh. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as bad. Seemingly endless supply of ammo. bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, you None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Bolton. 